Okay, <clears throat> so we haven't done one of these in a, in a long time. Now, I can't remember who mentioned this, or if I just saw it. Now I don't really remember. Or maybe someone uh, mentioned it in a YouTube comment. So this has been uh, in the back burner, I guess, for a couple of days or whatever. And I'm actually still very distracted with the Elon Musk thing because, again, it's such a huge, huge deal. So, I mean, I really wanted to pump up these videos really quick so I can go actually do, you know, my real research, you know. So anyway, this is a pretty nice looking website, albeit very, very distracting with the changing colors and raindrops and all that stuff. But, um, you know, they have, a, they have a DAP, very simple. Here's the chart. So they're brand new by a couple of days. They have a solidity audit. They have a how they have an audit by or a KYC <coughs> from the Jesse Echo people. And of course, they have Geonosis safe multi-sig wallet. I've heard of Geonosis a lot. I, I mean, I, I just keep calling it Geonosis, which is the planet from Attack of the Clones, but whatever. So anyway, they do 50,000% uh, fixed APY, so it's basically um, it's much slimmer to say high point finance. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, yep, they rebase every 30 minutes. They have a buy tax of 10% and a sell tax of 15%. So not too bad. And here's their breakdown of their treasury. Uh, okay, so they are doing two revenue streams. Uh, hybrid will offer 50k PY. It backs up the value by buying back and burning the token. Also, there's a, a trading hour use increase over a two-way hour with just one token. Yeah, so this is basically like any other Titano fork. Um, except they actually reinvest the treasury supposedly. I don't know why, but only a few Titano projects invest and in, reinvest their treasury because that's really how you're supposed to actually grow your project. That's why Sphere is so good, right? Because not only do they reinvest the treasury, but they take it to a whole new level. And on top of that, Sim actually specifically buys Tetsu, which is I think some kind of competitor to Curve Finance. So he gets all that juicy like governance control and stable coin farming and then now he gets bribe income and all that stuff basically he's doing already what metaverse pro or now congruent is trying to do but they're taking forever uh, it, it really it really does demonstrate the power of the big bureaucracy government type of you know th um system versus the you know rugged individual right so i can't think of a i can't see a significantly more stark contrast of like the traditional you know free free willing capitalist kind of vision but um but there are still advantages of being big and slow and being a you know a government bureaucracy you're stable and you're guaranteed the results eventually <laughs> so people actually really like that kind of safety net too uh the the rfe does the rebasing and funds the buy and burn mechanic. The treasury is composed of extra money to secure the RFE. And of course, all the extra funds in the treasury are then deployed. Oh, okay. So they actually reinvest the regular treasury, but not the RFE. Oh, okay. So that makes sense. Treasury will be under a, a multi-sale. So we are in the high yield, low risk investments, mostly in stable coins. So we'll be using a team will need to buy. All you have to do is just buy Sphere. That's really all you have to do. Uh, buyback man. Titan, you know, so many Titan has been doing. They're successful in really stable price. Blah blah blah. blah, blah, blah. Do I have to stake my hand and wrap it in a silver dome? Uh, same Just want to put. Which deck? Um, huh. Cheap gas. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Crabada Game, for that. Oh, God, I don't know when the hell those assholes are going to fucking leave fucking AVAX for good, hopefully. So, anyway, you can check this project out. Me, personally, I don't really care. Because, again, I already, just, I already... First of all, I'm doing really well at Sphere. That's where the vast majority of my crypto, you know, is coming from nowadays. Because Sim is obviously, like... You know, I don't want to say God, right? But, like, you know, the, the freaking next Elon Musk of DeFi, essentially. So, I don't know, maybe we should hit him up on Discord sometime. You know, I'll probably wait till the weekend to do that, though. Hopefully he'll have a little, you know, he'll, he'll be a little less uh, uh, busy <laughs> by then. 
Um, but yeah, I'm really happy for Sim. You know, uh, he uh, came from he came from humble beginnings, and then now he's, you know, you know he saw an opportunity. And he effing took it. All right, and now and now he's going like this. Right, he's going straight. Forget the fucking moon. All right, he's going outside, and forget Pluto. He's going right outside the solar system. All right, no one's ever gonna catch him. All right, no one is ever gonna catch him. All right, until the next sim comes along, of course. And even then, they don't have to beat each other. They'll just combine forces, and they'll. <laughs> and then now you have like two sphere projects, right? It's, <laughs> you know. So anyway. Oh, and by the way, I would prefer that none of you DM me on Discord or whatever, uh, begging for money or you know asking me to ask Sim to help you out with. Then I'm not gonna mention your name, but you know the Metaverse Pro congruent stuff. I mean, like, what do you want me to fucking do, all right? What do you want Sim to do? We're, we're not going to give you free money, all right? If you miss the boat, then you miss the boat. That's your own fault. I'm sorry, all right? You know, you know the reason why I do these videos is to help you help yourself, right? Okay, you missed the boat. Well, guess what? I guess you have to actually check my playlist and do accordingly, or just, just don't even ignore, just ignore my playlist, right? If you don't have time, just buy Sphere. That's all you have to do. Oh, don't have the money. Well, you have to get a job. All right, I'm sorry. You have to get a shitty job. Even I have to get a job. And I hate working. So you know what I did, right? I just did background acting for like four, five, six years, right? And I loved it, right? Because I did no work, essentially, just show up, sleep all day, be around hot women all day, eat free food, right? Like 99% of the time. Sometimes you get a walk away lunch. That's what they call it. So you have to pay for your own lunch. And I made my own movie too, right? From the money I earned from acting. And it was a great experience. Now, would I repeat that experience? Well, I definitely wouldn't do it the same way because, you know, I, it was a pretty rough experience. But I enjoyed it a lot too. You know, I learned a lot about filmmaking, right? So, you know, and, and again, don't ask me to use my connection with Sim to, like, go help you out with something like that. It's like, like, normally it would be considered insulting. But I understand why you're doing it, but just don't do that, all right? Because next, next time, I had, I talked to the person last time, but next time, I'm just going to ignore you, all right? And don't friend me afterwards for doing that, too. Like, I actually don't like that. I don't like that. Yeah, it sucks you lost a shit ton of money, but what do you, how do you think I feel? All right, four years of hard work, $60,000, all my remaining money fucking goes, went down the drain of Metaverse Pro, okay? So I'm even in worse shape than you, and I fucking came back, okay? All right, so I don't know. I don't know. Ah, anyway, with that rant out of the way, um, but yeah, you can check this out. I mean, this project probably seems pretty okay, believe it or not, if you really want to invest in another Titano fork. But again, you're getting half the rewards of Sphere, and I don't know who these people are, but I mean, I doubt they're as smart as Sims, so I mean... I, I assume they will eventually do like the Q L A A S uh, partnerships thing with Sphere or whatever. I don't know Q loss, right? What well, I don't even know what Q loss is. Right? I just know it's a big deal for Sphere. But you know, Sims the big brains here. I mean, I'm just I'm just some guy. I'm just some guy. Well, I'm really more than that, but you know, not too much more than that. For some reason, I kind of want Burger King again, even though I had it DES. Even though I had it like a couple days ago, so. Yeah, it's like I'm trying to lose my weight here. So, so you're going to have to have something simple today. Uh, here's our docs. Yeah, I don't really care. So anyway, check, check out Hybrid Finance. Um, again, I don't know why. Well, I guess I kind of know why. It's just a marketing gimmick. It's the same thing as any other Titano fork. But looks like they will actually reinvest their treasury, uh, which they better. Because if you don't, then your Titano fork will pretty much go towards zero. Right? Uh, because everyone's kind of figured out that tomb forks are very dangerous, right? Titano forks are very dangerous, including Titano itself. So people are just buying up just four projects. They're buying up Seifu. They're buying up Web3, right? Which is, which is basically $400 now. Great. Great for me. Um, people buy up Titano because, you know, they're still technically... The, well, they're no longer the alpha male dog, but some people still think that, even though Sphere is actually much bigger now than Titano by far, like just superior in every way. And of course, people buy Sphere. So, you know, even in the Elite Discord, they had that discussion. Yeah. So, yeah, but whatever. 
you know, the standard is very high now. I guess that's... On the, one, on the one hand, it sucks because I really do like playing these shitty projects, but on the other hand, I mean, I guess it's better for the space. I don't know. Whatever. I don't care because I'm, I'm not going to buy this project. So, anyway, check out uh, Hybrid Finance. I don't know. Look, it's already going down. However, that's because it went from $0.65 cents to 150% higher. So, um, yeah. I mean, this thing says it's 82%. I don't know. Whatever. But the numbers don't make sense. Actually, yeah, it would be close to 100%. It's, this is still way too low. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing it. Oh, it's because it's calculating this from, from down here to this. Okay, I get it now. Yeah, but it, it, it was up 110%. So, of course, you know, this thing has to, you know, pull back a bit. All right, next video, because I really got to bang these out, is Bay Finance, which is a tomb fork that I actually found out from Yield Wolf's Discord. So they obviously have to be pretty legit. If you whoops gonna list it. Alright, see you next video. Thank you to all new people who are watching. Like, subscribe, share the video and channel around, right? Because, you know, without you, I can't, you know, use my influence in the future to like, you know, positively affect cryptocurrencies. Alright, and then and then we'll get the money that we deserve, right? Not only the money that we need, but the money we deserve, okay? Because again, you know, there are a lot of bad, evil, super predator, rich people out there, and they're constantly fucking up the price of crypto, right? But I'm glad that Elon Musk is pushing back. <sighs> Fuck. It was doing so well just like 20 minutes ago. Again, this is why you have to help me, all right? Help me help you, you know? Let's see, bond yields are spiking. This is actually a problem because this probably happened right after Gregory Manorino did his video. Let me actually check my email. Did he position updates? I just bought more Goldman Sachs, added new position, IBM. These are not trades, long term holds, credit spreads, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Alright, so he probably. Okay. Uh, what... So what's happening in the stock markets then? Uh, jobless claims, 185, stocks mix as investable mega bank earnings. Okay. So it looks like bank earnings are also kind of five hundred for fifty four dollars a share. Yeah. Twitter is up three and a half percent. Now it's up to forty seven dollars and forty six cents. This is actually kind of interesting because with Elon Musk publicly saying this, he's he knows that it's going to raise the price of Twitter stock as well. So it's it's going to be an issue. It's going to be an issue. There's just too much going on. We'll have to see. I'll see you in the next video. And yeah, did, yeah. Did you see how? I, yeah, didn't I just pound my desk? Yeah. It's like again, like I don't know how much more I can make this clear to you. Look, see for yourself. See for yourself. Help me out, help grow the channel, and then when, when I become big like Jesse Echo and Cryptos R Us and what's the other one? Um, I know he has like two, Coin Bureau, I think he's like 2 million subscribers. Then I could throw around some serious effing weight. You know, I would have to also look into like how Black Lives Matter does its thing. I'm going to actually start sending my protesters out there too and I'll start paying for it. And you know, I'll put a Craigslist ad or whatever. You know, I'll start and I'll start partnering with the local organizations. Like I don't, cause I, at that point I'm not gonna give a shit. You know, you don't, you, you know, you you're gonna you're gonna fuck me. You're gonna fuck, you know, you're gonna fuck my subscriber. You're gonna fuck the world like doing this shit. You know, how about we fuck you over? You know, so you know, and believe me, I can be really fucking nasty. Like I like trust me when I have those protesters out and you're gonna be running around with those signs. That's gonna be hilarious. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna really really uh, you know. Politically, you know, politically, verbally, and I'm not sure we don't say anything against terms of service. But, you know, you're going to get hit very, very hard, all right? You'll still probably keep your job, but, you know, there's one thing I've learned is that demoralization campaigns actually do work. That's why the CIA and FBI do it all the time. Um, but it'd be kind of interesting. Does it work also on non-white people, too? Because obviously, if, like, you know, if I'm protesting and, like, Florida, you know, there's going to be, it's going to be like, what, 60%, 70% white and the other 30%, well, actually, the non-whites probably won't give a shit, so, I don't know, eh, I'll worry about it later, anyway, 
I'll, I'll see you in the next video. It'll be Bay Finance. Now, it did occur to me that maybe this project might be not safe for work. So let me look real quick. I want to make sure there's no, like, uh, whatever women, like, naked anime hentai super booby uh, women kind of thing. Because that's... My God, why do they have such a weird-looking website? It looks nice. Because I'm looking at it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I don't know. If it if it becomes too much of a problem, it's not going to cover the project. So, anyway. See you in the next video, possibly. If not, um, we're actually done with the content queue. So, I don't know. I might just take the next few days off. And then, you know, we'll I'll, I'll just pop something up on Sunday or Monday. All right. Thanks.